So recently I wrote a blog post talking about how I wanted to start curtailing my tab hoarding. Now, if you've watched my channel or listened to any of the podcasts, you know that I am a notorious tab hoarder. Oftentimes I'd have two or three hundred tab tablications, tabs open at any given time. <laughs> tablications definitely needs to be a word, but I'd have two or three hundred tabs open at any given time, and many of them had been open for a very long time, and years in some cases. It's just, it was a mess, and while I claimed that the workflow worked for me and it kind of did it wasn't the most efficient way of doing things i will be f free and admit that so uh, over the course of the last couple months i've come to kind of realize that this just wasn't really working for me as much as it could have and it wasn't very efficient and there were just some tabs open there that i had no intention of ever actually using so i started closing things like crazy but i also knew that i just couldn't carry on with this way of doing things so i needed a way where i could save stuff without having them just loiter around in tablications and the best way i found to do that was an application called link warden and that's what we're going to talk about today but before we jump in if you'd leave a thumbs up on this video i'd be really appreciative it really helped the channel so let's go ahead and talk about link warden so this right here is link warden and Let's just get the UI and stuff out of the way. It's very well designed. It is a web application only, as far as I know. I don't think that there are any dedicated applications on desktop, but that's not that big of a deal. I use it all on the web anyways. And basically what this does is you save a link using the web extension or the, the browser extension, or you can save it manually by going up here to the plus button. And you can just you know fill out a link or whatever. You can do that either way, and it just saves it for you. You can save it into a category. You can add tags so that it's easier to search for things as you get more and more stuff saved. That way you can search for things easily. And that's basically it. You save things, you organize them as well as you can, and then they're just saved forever. Now, overall, this experience has been really, really good. I've saved, what, maybe about 25 things or so that, you know, it's not a ton of stuff, but... All of my tabs are gone. So I have what tabs you see here in my main group open. That's stuff that I'm using today. And then all the rest of them are just completely empty. Like I have a social one over here on the monitor you guys can't see. But that has Discord and Statuser in it. That's it. And then all the rest of these are just basically blank pages. That's literally it. So I can go back to my main here. And that's allowed me to close all of my tabs. All of them are gone. Like every single one of the stored tabs that I've had for literal years are gone. And as you can see, I don't have two or three hundred, two or three hundred things saved in Link Warden. I have 25 saved. So the vast majority of tabs that I had saved were able to be closed and I knew I was never going to use them. So they're just gone. So not only did Link Warden allow me to save the things that I knew I needed to save, but also got my ass moving and was, I, I was allowed to, finally jettison a whole bunch of that extra stuff that really did not need to be open and i knew that but i didn't want to admit it so i did a fine job i saved the stuff i needed to save the rest of it's gone and now as i go through and find stuff on the internet things like for video ideas or for my work or things that i want to read or whatever i can just save them with the browser extension they'll come here into Link Warden. I'll make sure I properly categorize everything and put tags on everything that I want to tag, and it will be good. I can just save that stuff there, and if it loiters around for years, who cares? Now, two things that I should cover. First is the installation of Link Warden. Link Warden is done via Docker containers, so this is a, a Docker Compose file. And if you don't know how to use this, you can look up how to use Docker Compose on your own, or I will eventually do a tutorial as well. But for now, just go ahead and do Google for how to use Docker Compose. It's very, very easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Basically, you just put this in there. It, it basically starts a Postgres uh, database that stores all your stuff. And then it also gets the Link Warden uh, image as well and builds all that stuff. So that's how you install it. You can also do something through Portainer or whatever you want. I believe they have other packages as well if you don't want to use Docker, so that's possible for you as well. The installation was, again, very, very easy. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is just kind of like a negative, and that is that if you use something like Pocket, when you're done with something, you can mark it as red. 
right? So it's you still have a record of it. It still exists somewhere. And so if you accidentally delete something, you can go back to it or you can kind of see a, a history of stuff that you've saved in the past, right? With Link Warden, the only way to do anything is to delete it. So once you've you've you know gone to a website, it stays there, which is fine. But the only way to get rid of it is to delete it. Like and it asks you if you want to delete, but it's it's gone. Like it's you can't find it again. So if you accidentally delete something, you're screwed. But so I don't. I would prefer much a uh, like a, a mark as red thing. And that way it would save kind of like an archive of things that I've saved. That'd be so much better. That's the biggest downside I have for for Link Warden is that once you delete something, it's gone. Like it's just gone. You can't find it again. So. Other than that, though, this has worked really, really well for me. It's a very simple application. There's not much here to explain other than it saves links. That's what it does. It does have a few extra features, like it'll, it prevents duplicate links. So if you save th uh, something twice, it'll prevent that. It will also allow you to choose how you view the web page. You can view it as an actual web page or just take you to the web page or it will view it as a, a PDF or something like that so you can do that as well I do wish there was a little bit more customization when it comes to the UI so for example I would really like this collection to be like the main page that'd be really cool but you can't the main page is the dashboard and while it's fine it just basically looks like any other page it kind of, it kind of blends in whereas the collections kind of is different and you can set a icon for these things and change the color which is nice so you can make these things look differentiated as you want but this isn't the home page so it kind of just you know is shoved off to the side so I'd, I'd like to be able to customize what the home page actually is but you, as of right now you can't so overall link warden has been really really good now the question i always have to ask when i see these things is is this going to be something that i stick with now i think the process itself is something that i because like i said i showed you guys all my tabs are gone so all my stuff is saved in link warden so that gives me some attachment some commitment to it but those little gripes that I talked about, the not being able to mark something as red, not being able to customize the UI as much as I want to, those gripes do kind of nag at me a little bit. And there are alternatives to this. So I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. But overall, I think Link Warden's where I'm going to be at because it was really easy to install and it works really well. Now, there is a mobile application. I can't really show it to you guys, but there's a mobile application. I think it's made by a third party, at least on iOS. It's... Not bad, it's well designed, but there's some really weird things that just like you think would be clickable, but that aren't. But I don't think that that's a, a Link Warden thing. I think that's just a developer thing. But at least you can if you want to use it on your mobile phone. Uh, that's the end of this one. If you guys have thoughts on Link Warden, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast or YouTube or Kofi. Those links will also be in the video description. Uh, before I jump into the final thanks, I should just note that I have my brand new desks all set up. So you guys are seeing some of it over here. Uh, and the backdrop is a little bit different. You can see the bed in the background. So I got to make sure that that looks okay. But also... I found it really hard to actually make con eye contact with the camera because there's a big gigantic glare in my glasses. So I look off to the side. So if I'm not looking at you guys, you know what? You you'll know why. <laughs> so the the camera angle is probably going to have to change a little bit with this new setup. We'll see how it goes. But that's the way it is right now. So I just wanted to mention that. Anyways, thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very very much for your support. I honestly, guys, thank you so very much for your support this year and every year. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you've watched my channel this year, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video and all my videos that you watch. I, you guys are just amazing. So if, if I don't post another one before 2025, I hope everyone has a happy new year. Uh, if I do post another one before 2025, I'll, I'll wish you a happy new year again. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.